Hey guys, this is from Ruka with that episode of Europa Rizalis for as Apache. We migrated all the way from Navajo and Pima. And right now we I think are ready to finally settle. So and I will very quickly grab clan migration so I can start colonizing around, but we will start building the buildings again. I wasted I think two or three in Omaha. But yeah. Let's do it. So which will provide more? Irrigation or longhouse? It's irrigation. Okay. So it's fine. You'll build it. And yeah, you'll slowly just grow again. And by the way, on our way here, we spoiled all of this. <laughs> it's incredibly, incredibly bad. It's like base 2, this is 1.5, so all of this, except for Kansas, is just bad for colonization. So I will colonize this way, and maybe in Michigan later, but these are just much better. So yeah, that's what you'll do. And we spoil this because they are rivals and they are, well, they are all cranky about it. Hmm. Yeah, my merchants are kind of sadly not really worth it any more so. Yeah, I'm gaining one full gold per turn. Thanks to lowering the army. I will have to raise it, uh, the, the spending. Oh! Well, we've lost the stability that we bumped before. So... Oh, we have a new king. No, new chief. My chief. Our people are losing confidence in our government. Okay, why isn't this over this? Chacon Pinal. Attention to detail and superior administrative skill will aid us in reforming our administration and maximizing our taxes. Well, uh, okay. And I can even check his like personality like this. Human. Human player. I've seen this. This is another bug. You can even see this on uh, like the NPC players sometimes. <laughs> that they are humans. Even though they are not. And they both have better rule than, you know, they have, they have, they have poor guys. So, well, it's pretty cool that we increase the stability. And now I can even double check this. I can't take these anymore. Uh, where is it? There. So, there it is. It's stupid that it doesn't show you, like, right off the bat. So... It... Speeds up the migration cooldown. Maybe I should have picked that up. It would go to minus 30. Yeah, I should have done that. For sure. As I was waiting for the migration. It would enable me to migrate faster. And I could I could spend all the admin power to basically just boost it up. It would go like 180. And you would be up there and you would have that extra thingy. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Oh well, we can still do it, but we will just not gain the bonus in the migration. No leader. Yeah, let's use our ruler again. At least he's like consistently bad. And yeah, we are not building, we are building irrigation. So. Fish. Okay, again fish. Technology, see? We have a lot of admin power. So the build costs. Yes, I will go with that. The Bridicus modifier with this. Oh well, I will do it for sure. Even though I will not use the bonus, I will do it. I will do this. Maybe grabbing this as well, yeah. So as soon as I will grab both of these, I guess I will just use that mission and finish it off. So I think the building cost is at hand right now. Yes, 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 yes. We need to boost it first, so it will cost about 230 altogether. Maybe less, but with this, minus 20%, so it will be much, much cheaper. Pretty cool. So I can go with this as well, so we are going with colon migrations. Great. And I can uh, start the effort right off the bat. The first thing I will have to do is check out. Oh yes, yes, there it is! I've told you guys I will get something like that. So, global settler chance, but plus 25, that's great. So, I will grab this mission. 
But I will not go for it right off the bat. I want to build the longhouse. No, the irrigation first. Because it will cost us a lot of money. Well, we are making a little bit, but we will have to spend on our army. Because, yeah. So I will wait for my army to recover. And then I will send them there. Because this is the same as if you are colonizing as some European country. You have to protect yourself from the natives. And there is a bunch of them there. So, yes. This will be our first colonization. And I can even go with this. I guess I will go with the leader shock. Because he's we just have such a bad bunch of generals. So, yeah. Like, this again is worthless, and this I think is worthless as well. You don't have enough troops to really make it worthwhile. So, yeah, leader shock. Bam! And now they recovered. So, we will send them in. And. Smugglers running rampart. Oh god. Try to fish it. Oh. Damn it! Well, I have the admin power to bump it up again, but this is another stability loss in a short order. That's not good. Yes, I am aware of that. But we can bump it up again for 67. This is just bad. Yeah, I should spy defense the revolt risk. Ah. It's like not, not decreasing the the money we are gaining, so... We can as well just keep it there for now. I don't think we have any revolt risk whatsoever. Yes, totemism, friendly troops, tolerance, minus four, yeah. And we are fighting them right away. the Kill the natives, I'm sorry for the... sound... loud sounds. I think I will wait for them to recover and then I will... Oh, let's send our colonists there, right off the bat. And let's increase this. Yes, we have to do it. Otherwise, it would just pop up. Global setter chance plus setter increase plus 25. That's great. So we are. I think this is increased. Yes. Not sure for how long, but recover negative stability. Five prestige. Well, we may do it. Why the hell not? Yes, five, five free prestige. On top of that, I think now it's worth it. Bam! Gain five prestige. <laughs> Perfect. And well, let's continue with the colonization. We'll start losing money, but luckily we saved up enough that I can still build some buildings on top of that. So, the longhouse? Yeah, now it's much better increase. Oh, it's, uh, it's tax income. Oh, it's flat tax income. Okay, so that's actually much better. Or oh, it should be. Now it just increases this. Irrigation, plus 25, core 75. Yeah, that's a lot of boosts over there. 20% chance, that's pretty good. It could be a little bit better. Oh no! Okay, it's just a small bunch. I think we killed many of them in the first attack, so yeah. Yeah, we suffered first casualties! Building a longhouse, running at the 5 speed. Okay, we improve relations as much as we can with these two guys. They are at war. With whom? Pawnees? Oh, Pawnee, okay, with these guys. Huh. So, we are a little bit too far away. So they don't really care about us. You know what, let's work on these guys now. Let's prepare them. I have to wait for the diplomats to return. And now we can send them up there. We have peaceful. Improvations and improvations. There. Nice. So, losing a tiny bit of money. Yeah, I know. I can, ah, I can 
build improvements. So let's work on. Hmm. Yeah, let's build a sweat lodge. I'm not sure I'm, why I'm even picking this up, but it may just help with the diplomatic relations, right? One uh, missionary, I don't really need him. They, are totemi they have totemism, so they will be just fine. And as I said, I think I will gain non-enforcement of ordinances. Monarchs ruled by issuing ordinances, but they were almost powerless to enforce them. Enforcement depended upon the local powers, noble city governments that would not always be as vigilant as the monarchs would have desired. What are these guys doing there? 10 reward risk or 30 admin power. This is almost like a, no, this is half. No, we, we will deal with this. Apache and Pepel, okay. They can as well just rise up. I will not pay this much admin power for that. Nope. And as well, they they might they might not. It's not that big of a deal, actually. Well, there they are. <laughs> but it's the natives. It's not the Apache peasants. Another building, of course. So what can we build right now? Look at defensiveness for the level. I think we have the negative fourth, fourth level right now. Mm, yeah, kind of running low on money, so I don't think I will build anything. Yeah, this is a long way off. I would really like to drop the spending on these guys. I can't. Maybe I can just tweak it. But the, right now with the revolt chance, is it worth it? Thirty percent. I think it's worth it to lower it. Let's say right there. I hope they will be fine. <laughs> we are still losing a lot. Salt. Okay. Ah. Well, we were defeated, and they damaged our colony. <sighs> I can't wait for this. So. Damn it. Again? What? This is three times in a row. What the hell is this? Move back in there. Damn it. Slowing us down, the bastards. Yeah, it's damaged. So ah! They wrote this 2.5%. Three events! <sighs> Entirely fair. God damn it! 2.5% again! The hell! Burgios see request privileges. What? I thought I will get away from the nobility from the European countries, but this is just brr. Even you have like bureaucrats and nobles. Again, this is 2.5%. How is this rising? 1.6%. The hell? How is it happening so much? And let's oh they will lose ferocity. Okay, that's nice. Improve relations with these guys is finished. I guess I will go for the Aztec and Maya. No, oh. god damn it! I like shot myself in the foot. Maya have the claim on that. It's interesting, but. Prepare the relations with them. <sighs> well, at, at least everything is like lined up, right? Will we do it? I think we do, but we will lose almost all our money, and we may take some loans on top of all of that as well. <sighs> Ah, 
He lost this as well from the from the mission. Cola is Minnesota, Michigan. Michigan is a nice idea. I can't really do it right now, right? Haha. Uh -huh. Looks like I'm gaining some money from that. Gain a trader. Well. One percent chance of that happening. Let's go with this next time, I guess. Maybe this. Mampu belts. Huh. A lot of peace. At least one of these events would be nice to fire up. Okay, so I will go with stability cost modifier. Yeah. Bam. So right now it costs just 47 to increase. That's incredible. So improve relations with everyone, we can send them back up there. Still rivals. Another research. So this is the second to last. Better relations over time. And this will be the last one. Uh, and then we will just save up the power. We can keep 3496 so don't worry guys we will not waste anything <laughs> new setter 42 percent i'm not losing that much money actually right now so it's pretty cool nice just don't rise up i don't want to deal with you guys Wave of squares again. I don't want to lose the prestige. And I have enough for flash or reward risk already. Oh, well, no. Actually, no. So Let's go. Apache gets obscurantism until uh, for two years. So, yeah. Yeah. And this guy is back as well. So we have two diplomats. Look at us. And something in the military technology. So I guess we will go with the land force limit. Did it increase by one at least? By what? Oh, we have two. Okay. So yeah, it's somehow yeah, it works. I have a 10 extra. I think we can conquer someone. I'm not sure if we can, like, humiliate these guys. Prestige plus 5.2. That's excellent. Exactly. See, I have, we have a core. The culture is Navajo. But we are accepting them. Oh, it's our primary culture. Hmm. Oh, now I see where I made a mistake we want this to be our primary culture that is when this thing comes into effect so before i will go for another colony i think i will switch it over so it'll still be i think accepted but the primary will be our own yeah we'll wait for i think 200 admin power Okay, move back there. Like this point one percent chance, and it will, it will of course rise up. Like we know how this works. Okay, we can I think afford right now another colony right of the bet. But as I said, I want to do this first. I want to at least try this interesting event. And you know what? As we colonized our first colony, I think it's a good time to end this episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, bye-bye.